All right, we're here at my Vermihut indoor worm bin, and this is the continuation of the fruit versus veggies or sweet potato versus apple experiment. We are at day 10, and <laughs> we learned a lot at the last check-in of this. One of the surprising things was that neither the apple nor the sweet potato had been broken into. And this newspaper is a lot uh, more flimsy than the last time we were in here. So a couple things we tried to do. We tried to bury them more. I flipped the openings to them underneath more. We did put a little bit of bedding, but I didn't put coffee or grit in there. And by the way, these, <laughs> these look fantastic. The castings look fantastic. Um, but what I decided is, and again, I'm getting distracted by some of the stuff I'm finding. This is a banana stem. You can see how fibrous it is. But if these are not breached this time, or I don't see some significant progress, we're gonna keep the experiment going. But what we're gonna do is slice them up. It still will be fruit versus veggie, apple versus sweet potato, and we'll keep them separated, but I'm gonna slice them up to try and give them more surface area to penetrate if I need to. Oh, 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 you gotta see this. This right here is a mating pair, and I think it is red wigglers right Below my index finger is where they are connected. Here is the head of one, and the same one goes all the way to here is his tail, or her tail, the hermaphrodites. And here's the tail of one, and the head is right up in here. So they are going to form a cocoon, two cocoons, one on each of their clitellums, and they will wiggle themselves back out of the, co the cocoon that is formed. So I'm gonna try and keep them over here and let them do their thing. It's sticking to me. Well, that's a good sign. They're happy in here, they're mating. But let's get down to business. This is what we're all here to see. Right here is the sweet potato. And mushy was the <laughs> kind of word of the day last time we checked. And I'm feeling some sponginess, some mushiness there. And underneath, we felt a lot of worms and saw a lot of worms. So I'm just going to kind of dig under here and see what we have. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at all those worms. And ladies and gentlemen, we have worms making it inside the sweet potato. Now I asked everybody if they wanted to change their opinion and nobody wanted to change, but I did get some people saying that they had put whole sweet potatoes and they took much longer than expected. And I actually had people tell me about apples. It's November right now and they put apples in September and August and there were still some whole apples in their bins. So I really was kind of down about how this experiment was gonna go, but if you can see this sweet potato, there are trails, there are worm trails in and out of this. And I'm just gonna kind of pull this little worm ball off. They are in between the peel right here. I don't know if you can see the depth, but right here there are worm trails and they are into this sweet potato. So this sweet potato, and there's lots of worms here. This sweet potato is absolutely getting eaten by them. You can see all kinds of caverns and holes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm feeling good about this. This is 10 days total and they've gotten that far. And of course I have disturbed the heck out of them. Hopefully they will continue. I'm just gonna try and reset it while we're here and I'm gonna try and keep it deep. I'm gonna put the portion that was open down and I'm just gonna put that over there like that. That is some good news. That is some great news. Now let's see how the apple's doing. Based on what the apple's doing, hopefully I won't have to cut these up, but you know, it was, it was definitely getting all on the side. Certainly the center was nowhere near getting done, but enough that I'm happy with the experiment. So let's go in for the apple here. And I'm surprised I'm not running into it yet. It is deeper than I thought. There we go, there's some skin of it. Looking kind of pruney or wrinkly. Oh, very mushy. <laughs> Very mushy right away. I'm gonna go in deep here and see what we have. Oh yeah, check that out. Tons of worms, just tons of worms. I'm not sure which had more, the sweet potato or the apple. I'm getting all cross-armed here. So, huh. The apple is definitely smaller in size, almost like it's shrinking like a prune or grape. 
I do not see worms inside of it. I'm kind of pulling open the peel here. Here was the opening that I had made for the worms and they are not inside of it. There's mites there, but they are not, I don't see a worm inside the apple, although it's getting smaller. It's, here's the stem. It's shrinking in size, probably voiding its moisture. And then I'm gonna just sit here and let you look at those mites real, real quick. We'll do a little time lapse. All right, that should have given a pretty good view of the mites. I don't know, do you think maybe the worms aren't in here because of the mites? Why wouldn't the worms be inside this apple? Let me know what you think in the comments, but I'm a little perplexed there. I still think that they're in a tie, even though the worms are penetrating into the sweet potato. But this is, this is odd. This is, again, unexpected. I don't think I'm going to slice them up. They are, they are definitely mushy. If anything, I think by now I can pull them apart at our next check-in, but you know, just a, a ton of worms down here underneath. So I'm wondering, is the moisture just shedding from there and the worms are just fine enjoying that? Meanwhile, as you can see, they are just breaking down the castings all over here. This bin is very rapidly turning into castings. Some of this, this uh, bedding is newer bedding. You know, I put new bedding in every time I feed. That's why you see some of the newer bedding and then you don't see, you know, the, the original bedding that was in here is probably almost all turned to castings. But, you know, we got big old fat, chunky worms in here, like this red wiggler right here. You can, again, tell because of the bulge clitellum right there and little red end or orange end to them. But lots of lots of worms so they're doing their job they're just doing it at their own pace <laughs> if you ask me so again this this apple's now been opened i've taken the peel off i'm gonna put it face down if it has a face boom it's face down and let's bury this up let's put this experiment back together got some great comments and suggestions and one of them was to uh bury this really deep and i think i've tried to do that so that the worms have all access to it. So we'll make sure that we've got this buried deep. I did put some water on it. I think that helps when the bin is pretty moist to help take care of that food. I also got a suggestion to clean off the edges, so I'm gonna do that and get all these good castings right back in there and all the microbes that are in them. Wow, this is just faster than I thought it was gonna be after reading some of the comments. They're more broken down and especially the sweet potato just seeing the trails and that they're penetrated underneath the peel, that makes me happier than when before we got in here because after I read some of those comments, I was thinking things were gonna really slow down and not necessarily slow down, but just be more difficult for the, the worms to get into than I thought. And they still may be, but as of now, I'm willing to continue forward with another five days and see what we're at before I have to take more drastic measures like smushing them up or that kind of thing. But I'll tell you what, we are still, we still do not have a leader. We still are in a tie, in my opinion. I, I was on the apple team, just like everybody else. Thought for sure that thing was gonna be gone, long gone before the sweet potato. And it still might, but right now, I just, I can't, I can't call it a leader. Let me just uh, put the newspaper back on here. And if you like this video, please, by all means, subscribe. It helps me out. And there you can see my other playlist that I have on my channel. And I've got a outdoor worm bin. I've got this vermi hut and then a tiny worm bin. I have a lot of videos on there and most of them from start to finish casting. So you can see how we progress. And I actually just did one on what I do with my outdoor worm bin to sift castings out of that every week. And you can see as I'm doing this, just how fragile this newspaper is. So these worms are getting to town on the bedding, that's for sure. Definitely compared to last time we were in here and certainly a few weeks ago when we kind of declared the 50-50 bedding to castings. So I'm gonna button us up here and I think that will take care of it. So I hope everybody's having a great day and happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now.